In this video, we're taking a look at the OG meta loadout here in Modern Warfare 3. We're taking a trip down memory lane. We're gonna be rocking the M4 and the MP5. One of my favorite personal builds to go ahead and use. I think a lot of you guys are gonna tear it up as well. So if you guys enjoy, feel free, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit those notifications. If you guys have any other class of recommendations, let me know. So to create the OG meta loadout, we are going to be using the M4 and the M5. This has been good in Modern Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 2022, and current Modern Warfare 3. So for the M4, we are going to be rocking a muzzle on this setup, and I do recommend running the T51R billeted brake to drastically bump up that vertical recoil control, firing aiming stability, and gun kick. A great attachment on this weapon to keep it in line with some of the other Modern Warfare 3 weapons and allowing us to map people across the map now we are going to be running a barrel on this build as well and just like modern warfare 2 the high tower 20 inch barrel is going to be a massive w this is going to be essentially the grenadier barrel we had in modern Warfare 2019 increasing recoil control firing aiming accuracy as well as bullet velocity and range overall a great attachment to run on this assault rifle again to keep it in line with some of the modern warfare 3 counterparts we are going to run an under barrel and i do recommend running the bruin heavy support grip for this weapon to completely smooth out the recoil pattern giving us a very easy ar to use we're taking advantage of more gun kick horizontal recoil control as well as aim idle sway control ability and firing aiming stability super important on a modern warfare 2 weapon here in modern warfare 3 now we are gonna rock an optic and there is no if ands ors or buts about it the jack glassless was literally built for all the modern for two guns removing a lot of that visual recoil that's what these weapons suffer from and we are taking advantage of more firing aiming stability as well as giving us a precision sight picture and then finally for the last attach we are gonna rock a stock and it's actually gonna be one of the last options here the torrent span nine from the tempest torrent this is going to be giving us increased recoil control gun kick and hip fire and tack stand spread something we drastically need on this weapon once you jump in the firing range you're going to see here that the m4 is going to be rock solid we do have respectable ads but again we have a secondary that's going to be helping us out at close range so you guys can see this thing is going to be laser accurate definitely a solid choice now for the second year we are going to be rocking the good old mp5 i highly recommend going ahead and rocking a suppressor on this class specifically the shadow strike suppressor s to take us off the radar if you are going to be going into a close quarters area into a building flanking pull this bad boy out so you're off the radar you can take it out without them knowing where you are at now we are not going to run a barrel on this setup these are not going to help us out for this run and gun type of build we are however going to rock an under barrel and i do recommend rocking the xrk edge bw4 hand stop some people might have it unlocked but might not definitely get it unlocked because it does a lot of beautiful things on our submachine guns those being increasing aim walking speed movement speed aim downside speed and sprint to fire speed like i said this is a run and gun true secondary we are going to run ammunition on a lot of the modern warfare 2 smgs i highly recommend running that high grain so we can go ahead and take advantage of more damage range and bullet velocity again going ahead and keeping them in line with a lot of the current modern warfare 3 weapons that we have in game and also dlc weapons to come now we are going to run a magazine on this setup and the 40 round mag is going to be perfect the reload con is irrelevant because the vest we are running gives us free slot of hand so go ahead and rock this and then finally we are going to run a rear grip and i do recommend rocking the lockman tcg 10 take advantage of more gun kick as well as recoil control once you jump in the firing range you're going to have a kick-ass class setup quick ads and like all my setups here guys this is going to be controllable even at those medium ranges and this isn't even a long range setup that's how good it is from in the build we are going to be rocking them shot proximity mine dead silence because we are not going to be running munitions box here i'll go ahead and explain and all we have is quick grip gloves to swap weapons faster and bone conduction headset now dead silence is going to pretty much give us what we were missed out on our other setup because if we were rocking the combos as we can pick up dead silence as well as ghost dead silence actually goes ahead and counts for dead silence and go so essentially we're not really losing anything the only thing we do lose with the gunner vest is we don't get that radar ping which honestly i wish we could rock in this class but we cannot swing it but we are going to have obviously 
two weapons on the same build max ammo and faster reloading overall a fun setup you guys should definitely check out right now the og meta loadout is still valid here in modern warfare 3 and i think a lot of you guys will tear it up so if you guys enjoyed feel free drop a like on the vid subscribe to the channel turn those post notifications let's go ahead and get the mtb new all right let's get busy with the og meta loadout we have the m4 as well as the mp5 here this is gonna be a pretty interesting build because both of these weapons received a buff and relatively new update so it's not like these are terrible guns and let's be honest you know these things were the shit in modern warfare 2 definitely two of the most rock solid weapons to use and they were also solid in modern 2019 as well and they were better in warzone i mean these things were What everybody was using, no matter what mode you played. Next hard Almost got sniped. What does he have? I forgot I do have equipment on this class setup because. Oh my god. I knew there was another person. I was like, where is he at, though? I was looking for him. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go bypass him. I was suppressed, sir. Maybe he didn't see me or notice, but he did. See, that's where the comms us would have came in handy. Go, baby. Pop, daddy. For a second, I thought uh, an enemy just popped out right. I was like, bro, there's no way the spawning is that chalk. Come on, heal up. The reason I'm running dead silence on here is because I kind of want to have someone of a similar build that I had previously, but obviously I don't have the ammo box. Enemies inside the perimeter. So I am praying that my teammate drops one of those joints eventually. I am not running Savage on this build. Be tall. Teammate. Got uh, advanced. Looks like the spawns are back over here. He's getting ready to camp. All right, I gotta drop my uh. I gotta drop my EMP because that fella is starting to throw bullshit on the ground. <laughs> Fucking riot shield, man. Get a flank. Oh my god. Bro. Hit marker city, bro.
Top the daddy. Holy. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Got shot from behind. Ah, oh, he spawned literally best part. Best part he could have spawned on the map next to me. Quite literally. I missed the comms vest, bro. Because these spawns are so bad. I would have known he was. I don't even know where that rat drone is. Post it over here. Enemies inside the perimeter. Oh shit, there it is. Game is pretty close too. Enemies inside the perimeter. Relax, y'all. Relax. This is a close-ass game. Which is kind of good. Headshotted. Uh, let's drop the V. Hold on. Let's drop this VTOL jet over here. I should have got out of there a little bit quicker, but it's not a huge deal. And it's literally middle map, so I am not tripping whatsoever. My shit is going to start going off. Got to advance up, teammate. You're not paying attention. Come on, dog. Lily put this VTOL on the hill. You know, I was looking for this one kill guy. He's just too busy just, you know, running laps in his spawn. They actually might win this. Hold on, guys. They literally could win this game. If we have, like, a defensive breakdown, which I'm going to prevent us from having that, they could literally come back and win. So, let's... Oh. Let's just play the OBJ. We ain't getting no nuke, so... At least let's get this W. Are they on the hill right now? Hold on, y'all. I really have some terrible teammates in here. <laughs> Next 
Bet. Got a Betty kill. Bro, I don't know where they are. I don't, dude. This is stupid. Like, I, they, it's the riot shielder. We have to stop this. Oh my god, I think we lost. Because that riot shielder. the shielder in here that's messing this all up eat literally in a corner bro this is too this is literally too close it's the riot shielder where is this rat kid You're intending on camping? Or like super small maps where that ping might not be as helpful. I don't know how I'm getting this many hit markers. Get out of here. Get out of here, dog. Yes. Can't make up for lost time in this lobby. Confirming next hard point. They're all in the... Yep. Friendly SAE on the way. Target area 
Got the advance with two farther, literally all across the map. Next hard point. Friendly UAV online. Good shit. Target area I heard that guy. Hard point relocated. Secure the target area. Hard point compromised. Secure the area. Friendly cruise missile deployed. Enemy That shit took. Way too long to get for real, for real. Oh man, just doing so much running around. Yikes. I'm a new guy. One kill, I think. One or two kills. But, hey, we still got it. That's what's important.